What is something that you just cannot understand the popularity of? TV Evangelicals Like I have nothing against religion but why would anyone follow these guys to the point that they would be willing to give them money? For what? I just cannot wrap my head around why these guys are so rich. I'm religious and I can't wrap my head around why anyone would want to throw all their money to these people. My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. This year. The one time Jesus got angry was when he flipped all the currency exchange tables and all other monetary stalls and locations. Even letting all the animals free. We need to get these holy water selling fraudsters off of the air. It's been proven that many of these especially super churches are scamming their congregation. Wolf in sheep clothing. Don't even need to make a point for prosperity preachers. I was just researching a bit yesterday and holy moly. Kenneth Copeland, the guy who looks straight out of a Bloomhouse horror movie, is worth almost a billion dollars. I don't want to judge him based on his looks, but the way he exploits his congregants that easily intrigues me. Yay, this guy is really something else. I cannot comprehend why anyone would a, believe what he says b, trust him and c, give him a penny of their hard-earned money. Totally baffling. Toddlers and tiaras. Why is there a bikini competition? Why are we forcing kids to participate in these terrible pageants just for the entertainment of adult viewers? There's a what competition? I want to Google it because I'm so effing appalled. But no way in hell am I googling toddlers and tiaras bikini competition even with a proxy, VPN, incognito, and virtual machine. Please kill me. Prosperity Gospel Literally allowing people like Kenneth Copeland and Paula White to rake in their money while spitting all over their supposedly sacred Bible. Like do none of them recall the story of Jesus in the temple? Copeland and the Crouches and Benny Hinn and all these televangelists who grift and push prosperity gospel BS would be getting their tables flipped by their savior, is all I'm saying. They don't give a crap about God and the religion. They just want that money and know there are people dumb enough to give it to them. It's basically just a pyramid scheme, except the overpriced garbage they're peddling is false hope. Social media influencers or social media celebrities why they and their fans act that they are the next big thing. If you have family who are influencers it gets worse. They act as if everyone in your family are fans. No, you're loved because you're family by default. Not because you have more followers. Celebrity worship. I really don't understand why people are so obsessed with celebrities to the point of following every single thing they do in their lives. What do people get out of idolizing some rich people who probably don't even care about you? Same. I have some favorite actors slash actresses but what they do off screen I could care less. Chris Brown. How is this guy's career still booming even though he's a clear effing maniac? Some women were even fawning for him harder after his violence. A la Chris Brown can f me up any day. It's got to be related to whatever makes people romanticize serial killers. Weird as F. I can't even listen to him, if I do I feel guilty because I'm filling a domestic abuser's wallet. Couples wishing each other on social media on anniversaries or birthdays, while they might be sitting next to each other. It's been years since I've ever posted about my birthday online. All the wishes just felt hollow. So I stopped bothering. I took my birthday off Facebook. I don't need my phone to blow up reminding me of my age. I would much rather have the people closest to me call or come say happy birthday. People making happy birthday or etc. posts about their parents slash grandparents who aren't on FB, usually as an excuse to repost some of their wedding pictures. Overly expensive luxury clothes. I raise you, overly expensive luxury clothes for kids. Yo, Goodwill and similar usually doesn't price name brand kids clothes separately. When I have kids they will be the fly white guy with Ariat, Calvin Klein, etc. full outfits for like $10. There is a big quality difference between a $20 cotton sweater and a $200 cashmere sweater. But beyond that, 
the difference between the $200 sweater and a $1,200 sweater is small and not as noticeable. At that point you are paying exponentially for a minute improvement in quantity, you are paying for the brand and prestige. Once you hit the good enough level it is diminishing returns to pay for the best. People who can afford the $1,200 sweater won't care about the price difference, it is nothing to them. The signs people buy for their homes that say eat kitchen pantry laundry home. Why? My wife does this. I don't have any idea why. I refer to them as our wall memes. The one right above our kitchen sink says eat pray love. We don't even go to church, family. Edit, here are some more. Husband and wife, together for life. Grow old with me, the best is yet to be. Home is where your story begins. No whining. Family is forever. A friend of mine has a wife who really loves those signs. He bought one that, in really nice, swooping cursive, said F, crap, ass and it took her months and months to notice it. I made a live, laugh, poop sign for my bathroom and it took my boyfriend a really long time to actually notice what it said. I made a dump light up sign for my husband when we were dating. It proudly hangs above our toilet. Change it to eat, pray, love. Very eat shoots and leaves. What is a Friday night for a panda? Correct. You control the board. With less than a minute to go in the round? I miss him already. We heart you Alex. I once had a friend that I house sat for and she had signs like this all over. The worst one was a sign that said we rise by lifting others or some crap but she was a huge effing bitch lol. Most folks I've met with a laugh, live love sign in their home are buttholes. I want this in my gym, lift, lift, lift in that stupid squirrely font. I mean, I won't do it, but it'd be funny. Missed opportunity for lift laugh love. Maybe otherwise they forget where they are and what they're supposed to do in this room. Edit. Thanks for the awards. Oh no I put my crap one in the closet. Reminds me of this classic. Web link. Ah, Mr. Larson makes the madness almost bearable if not at all better. Because seeing the little bunny on the clothesline brought me joy. I needed the joy to get me through the laundry. The influencer culture. Not only doing it, which makes you look like a huge narcissist, but following these people. I don't understand following people on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, etc. to the point of obsession and calling them celebrities. Like, am I, 30, that old already? Edit to add, I'm not talking about the channels that are actually about something, cooking, gaming, humor, hobbies, etc. I'm talking about the ones who just stare into the camera, give a little wink and lip bite, and then say something along the lines of like and subscribe for more. Or channels that exploit kids. Just not my thing. I run a small business and post a lot on Instagram. I get so many people who want free products to show to fans. Do they use their number of followers as leverage? Not original post but yeah. I ran a crochet clothing business for a couple years and I got 15 to 20 messages a day off random girls wanting to promote me and half of them had less followers than I did. A girl messaged once saying she was going to Ibiza twice during the summer and wanted to showcase my product. If you can afford two holidays you can afford to pay 20 pounds for the item I made. F off. The thing I don't understand is that these are just normal people without any special skills or talents. Then for some reason their trip to Target to buy new curtains video has 2.7 million views. Blows my mind. It's just covert ads. Like, I understand following a lifestyle blog casually, if someone's style is to your taste, then their makeup tips, fashion, home decor ideas, whatever, might be interesting to follow for ideas. I do not understand how anyone has enough clout to get paid millions to advertise a product. Also it must be exhausting to be these people's actual friends when everything they do is a photo shoot. I had micro-influencer roommate before. She got paid $200 to $400 for a few posts here and there and into some VIP events for free but mostly she rang up a huge amount of debt to fund the lifestyle she represented on social media. It was definitely weird, outings were turned into photo shoots and she treated everyone else as trinkets slash accessories in her life. We don't talk anymore. 
Outings were turned into photo shoots I went on a snorkeling trip with my wife a few years ago, and there was a pair of influencers on the boat with us, and some other people. The influencers wouldn't get in the water, and spent a decent amount of time changing into different swimsuits between stops. Seemed way less fun than actually snorkeling, or swimming with sharks, or any of the other stuff we did. Show off, showing off money in life or in social media. It's usually people who did little or nothing to earn it too. But usually it's people who don't actually have the thing they're showing off. And what is the purpose of the loan sir? I'm making a TikTok about how rich I am. I've always lived a cheap lifestyle while making decent money and banking as much as I can I have no debt and people always ask me how can I be 30 with no debt and the secret to my success is to live with your parents. Another option is being born wealthy. Making fun of others for their hobbies. What if their hobby is being made fun of? Kink shaming is my kink. Confused screaming. Taking videos of yourself crying and posting it online. Also don't understand the people who sympathize with them. I've noticed as time has gone on that people have become super self-aware of their own reactions to things and so it's become a weird competition. People will post videos of themselves crying about things that make me think they were this devastated and still took the time to record themselves and post it to the internet? I'm pretty desensitized to people crying now. These videos just bore me to tears. I don't believe it. You should post a reaction video. 699N. I really really don't understand his popularity at all. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? Play me like a dummy, like bitch, are you dumb? Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? Poetry edit, you're mad I'm back, big mad he's mad, she's mad, big sad haha, don't care, stay mad aha, aha, aha. One of Shakespeare's lesser known soliloquies. You want lesser known ancient texts? Here is Homer's hidden masterpiece, recently dug out of a temple ruin, Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Gucci gang. This is how he and the Argonauts fended off the vicious ocean thoughts which sought to lure them to a rocky death. Not the vicious ocean thoughts. Isn't he a pedo? And a boring rapper. Strip clubs. Why would I want to pay to get blue balls? And to add to that some guys go as a group. What is the appeal of a bunch of presumably straight dudes sitting down and getting boners together? For me it just seems like an awkward and uncomfortable situation for everyone involved. Depends on your limits and definitions of awkward. Remember that some of the straightest dudes ever love the idea of a gangbang on one chick. Can confirm. I'm super straight but I love looking at my brother's veiny forearms and beautiful hands when we share a chick. Also that little spark he gets his deep hazel eyes and this half smile, half growling thing he does when he is really turned on. Looking at his dark blonde curly hair and sweaty pecs makes me wish I was the chick being pounded. But yeah, I figure all super straight guys like me have at least one good buddy like that. P.S. Hope you read it, Mark. You're the best. Or when your boy filling out them jeans and you don't know how to tell him it looks like two hams in a vacuum seal bag you just kind of picture how someone totally not straight want to slide between them like a water park ride but that might make your trip to the motorcycle shop awkward so you just keep an eye on him. Like two hams in a vacuum seal bag I'm not sure what to think about this, but I definitely laughed. Mother effer now I'm hard WTF. Oh, hi Mark. Expensive clothing brands like Supreme. The difference in price to a regular shirt with similar design and quality is huge especially considering most of the price comes due to the brand label. Edit, I've read through a lot of the comments and just want to say thanks for explaining why clothing brands can be such a premium for plenty of people. It's not really about design or quality, just status. Like jewelry or something. If everyone knows it's overpriced and you have it on, then you must have the means to purchase beyond your needs. Gender reveal parties. 
I hear these are pretty hot recently. They're exploding on the west coast. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.